Do you believe that love at first sight or should I just walk by again? Let's walk. He called. Hey, what's going on, guys? Shaq reacts here once again, and today's some crazy clips of the craziest couples I can find. And like always, guys, my favorite clip will be at the end. But in this first one, it is absolutely insane. This girl decides to date her stepfather. I want to know if you guys are a couple. Yeah. Okay, and how long have you guys been together? Well, two years. Okay, and it's a little like, history, yeah. A little history. You want to yeah. tell you me a little about it? For a while. Yeah. For, for a while. How yeah. was that? Um. He, he went with my mom for a little while, like five years. They was engaged. So you, you, dating, you dating your mom ex-boyfriend? Yeah. So how do you think your mom feel about that? She's cool. Like, yeah. she got her somebody else. Like, she's okay. So you, you think it's cool for you to date your mom's ex-husband, ex-boyfriend, whatnot? Like, out of all the men in the world, you date your mom ex She was calling me daddy anyway, so why not? Why not? But like, let's make it make. How do you think your mom feel about it? She's fine. Yeah. We go to counseling, like all of us. Yeah. And we like talk about it. Mom actually said it would be better that way. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Whatever is best for you guys, then okay. that's fine with me. Now this is easily one of the more stranger clips I have ever seen and to be honest, I'm not gonna approve of it. I don't care if she's above age, this should definitely not be a trend. And for her to really sacrifice her relationship with her own mom, just goes to show how selfish this woman really is. And this man definitely should be behind bars because in my opinion, he probably had his eye on her the entire time. I saw you from over there and you're so pretty. I just wanted to say hi to you. Oh, okay. What's your name? Feel your soul from over there. Oh, okay. What are you up to? Just yeah, are you gonna go to the Blue Jays game? No, I wasn't planning. No? No. You wanna uh, like get dinner or something later? Yeah, we can. Yeah? Yeah. What's your number? Well, I don't really have a number. I, I, I use the payphone. Okay. Uh, or I can use email, but I mean, we, email. Can, make we can make a plan now if you want. Alright. And we can see each other later. Alright, what's you your... Do that? Yeah. Okay, so, um, yeah, so let's do that. So let's think, where, where do you wanna meet? Do you wanna meet at the... What's your... Uh, give me your email. Do you have email? Yes. All right, I will meet you later. Several days later. Did, did you end up getting dinner? No, I went there and he met, like, I, I made, a, like, a meeting spot. Yes. And he didn't show up, so... How rude. Come on now, dawg. Come on, man. So apparently this woman is homeless and this guy decides to approach her because that's what he does for TikTok. He just approaches a bunch of women, sees if he can get their number, and I guess takes them out after. But apparently his excuse for not taking her out is he said his phone died. So in the moment, talking to cute girls and having a good time, meeting new people. And then 5.30 rolls around and I realized that I was supposed to meet um, the lady, but my phone had died. So I went to the area that I thought was the correct area and I stood there and waited for about 10 to 20 minutes. And then I walked uh, up and down board for a bit and I was like, hey, there's no way I'm going to find this lady because it's like I don't know the exact location I'm not from Toronto yeah to be honest guys I'm not gonna buy it this guy shouldn't just mess around with women who are homeless and honestly out of respect for her he should have taken down the clip something guys gotta stop doing in 2020 being emotional being emotional I don't understand why guys I had a guy text me saying oh you don't answer me why don't you answer me why don't you do this you're texting me saying that you're gay a little gay what so, so he can't care about you? But that's what I'm saying. Like, I, if, I, I can't, I can't. Like, if you're not a masculine man, you can't. So, so guys got to be more masculine. Yeah. You want to, if I guys got to talk to her. I think nowadays, it's a problem. I think guys a little bit are more sensitive and cry over stupid shit. Like, oh, you don't text me. Oh, this, that. Like. Just be a man. Yeah, be a man. Go after what you want and don't stop till you get it. That's what a man has to do. Don't stop till you get what you want. That's it. Thank Am I wrong? You're not wrong. So this girl kind of seems like a Muppet in my opinion, but to be honest, I will agree with her the fact that men have become a bit more feminine. Men shouldn't be blowing up women's phone anymore, especially when it comes down for them not responding. If a girl isn't giving you the attention you want, then let her be, ignore her. But I will also have to say that women are also very masculine. Even the woman who was talking in this clip seems a bit masculine in my opinion. She definitely doesn't seem like the shy and timid type. Look at Andrew here, he's... He can't believe his eyes. When will God convict you to get rid of the rest of these pictures? When is that going to happen? I know it's a process, right? But if you know it's wrong, what is actually stopping you from removing them right this second? 
Honestly, if you have a dirty mind, doesn't matter what you look at. I've seen girls who are no. completely covered up. I've worn dresses that were completely covered up and still had men look at me. He would you say that months, God or Satan would nothing. prefer that you had those pictures up on Instagram? Well, probably if they're not appropriate, most likely Satan. Then, so how would be the best way to condemn Satan then? I have another question. Now, to be honest, guys, this girl will probably never remove these pictures simply because she is addicted to the attention. Yes, you could be addicted to social media and the attention you receive from it. And even though she says she can remove it anytime she wants, that's most likely never going to happen in her life. But one thing is definitely certain, and that's when she loses all of her looks and that attention goes away. She's definitely going to be suffering from withdrawals. We're going to break up every couple we see. We're going to tell them that we've seen them with another guy. Another even, girl. Another girl. Like I said before, if I'm single, everybody else got to be single. Too. Bro, bro, what's good? You? What's good, bro? bro. Dude, good. how are you? This the, a hoodie. this the third girl I've seen you with this week. That's my sister. Serves you right. Who dresses or modestly? He wants her to dress until she's his girlfriend. Exactly. It's because they want you to be desirable until you're theirs, and they don't want you to be desirable, which makes no sense. They want you to be desirable until you're theirs, then they don't want you to be desirable anymore. Yeah, no duh. Why would you still want to be desirable when you're already in a relationship? That's cheating. If you're still seeking other people's attention, you don't care for that person at all. We didn't do body count. I have a thousand one hundred. <laughs> That's, I think, more than last time. Wait, Andrew, why are you making that face, Andrew? Andrew, I've been doing this for oh, 10 years. Uh. <laughs> His eyes. <laughs> Say it again, Lauren. I have 1,100. I don't think you heard you. Say it one more time. 1,101. Here's what's crazy. At the beginning of the show, she said that over 100 people from the podcast yeah, they got see. her services. Yeah, they, they're like, I, I saw yeah. whatever. And I was like, yeah. cool. You should be ashamed of yourself. And this is, you, actually, you should come out and apologize. Mm. Two, one, eight times six. Eight times six? Yes, ma'am, amigo. Eight times six, Miss Bliss. Huh? Huh? Eight times six, thanks. Ninety-two. Bliss. I asked her what eight times six was. <laughs> well, which, I, I, did, I gave you all the time. I didn't even count down. Now, I absolutely love these kind of TikToks because it really shows how stupid these OnlyFans girls really are. They think that they're super successful. They are these successful entrepreneurs who made a bunch of money off of their business. The reality is they don't know anything. I was sitting in my apartment and my roommate was like, hey, where's your boyfriend tonight? And I said, oh, boys night. And she said, what's boys night? And I was like, you know, I still don't know. So the next time I saw him, I said, hey, now that we're dating, I really need to know what happens at boys night. And he said, oh, boys night. He was like, that's Dungeon and Dragons. You're welcome to come. When I said girls normally don't come to boys night it's because it's dungeon and dragons but girls are welcome at boys night i said dungeon and dragons and he said yeah and i was like that's actually such a relief i'm like so happy to hear that i had no idea what you're doing on tuesday nights and then i grew to be your girlfriend and then i was like wait what happens on tuesday nights and i'm just whew, dungeon and dragons that's great he went yeah that was kind of the plan i was prepping you to be excited that i play dungeon and dragons once a week instead of being icked out by it. this honestly is kind of genius of that man but i wish it wasn't necessary because if women could take a large step back and see that men like this that enjoy nerdy things like dungeons and dragons or lord of the rings or star wars they are the ones that turn into the best husbands and the best fathers they're the ones that get joy from simple things they don't have to go clubbing or to get a woman's attention in order to feel good about himself and he's the one that's going to teach his kids all of the fun games and he's going to be organizing game night and that sort of family fun is priceless trust me now this is absolutely so true usually when you think of boys nights you think of these guys going to the clubs and the bars and spending so much money even when they're in relationships but it's super nice to see and refreshing to know that a lot of men just don't find that kind of stuff entertaining anymore when my ex found out i was getting married she waited until the day before the wedding then she impersonated my wife called our food vendor and canceled all food service for the day, even paying the cancellation fee herself. We had to call a local pizza place and have them cater the food for the reception the day of. That ex-wife really needs to be locked up. There's no way she really thinks that's gonna stop the marriage from proceeding on. Call me crazy, call me insecure, call me whatever you want, but basically anything is cheating. Okay, let's hear some examples. Um, I don't care if it's a coworker and you go to lunch together, cheating. 
I will drive my car through the front door of that Mexican restaurant and park it at the front of your table. My goodness, if insecurity had a face. So I, if, if you value your life, um, innocent bystander's life, your coworker's life, your friend's life, if you value anything, um, I would highly advise you not to do that because it's, it's cheating. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm crazy, maybe I'm insecure. I mean, I know I'm crazy. I don't know about insecure, but this, this sounds a little insecure now that I'm repeating it back to myself. Yeah, go with that feeling. Whatever, I don't care. I will park my car in the lobby of the Mexican restaurant. Hope you enjoyed your margaritas. Not today. Mm -mm. Nope. If you happen to be that insecure in a relationship, you really shouldn't be in a relationship. Now, for the first time ever, I actually disagree with the woman who was reacting. I don't disagree with this take, guys. And you guys can shame me or yell at me in the comments for this, call me very insecure, or this is just way too far. Guys, I would not want my wife being on a date with a coworker or her gym trainer. You have no idea what intention that person has. So that being said, I agree with the girl in the blue. And with a little rusties, yo, playing Fortnite, yes indeed. I, I mean, it's really sad, but like the creative idea here is pretty interesting. <laughs> like, I would never come up with this. <laughs> there's, there's no part of my brain that could come up with this idea and be like, yeah, okay, let's do that. That's just no way. No, I can't lie. This is really creative. Even though I don't F with OnlyFans and I don't approve of it, this was genius. However, I am very curious to who's actually watching this. There's no way there's really simps on the internet watching this for hours and all subscribing to OnlyFans content afterwards. What is your plan B if nobody marries you? Let's go. That's a W. If a man ain't gonna be handsome, he should at least be handy. Now get your ugly ass outside and change my fucking brake pads. Who the fuck are you, bitch? There is no way she's calling anyone ugly, especially with that face. She needs to be put in her place, I'm sorry. I agree, women can do a lot of things. Very amazing people, very amazing. But being a strong man, that is not one of them, all right? We gotta understand that I love y'all women, I love what y'all bring to the table, but man, a man is definitely needed at times that that's that's just facts okay the crazy part is someone still said in the comments they still hit Now there's actually a saying that goes anytime a man is very comfortable with a woman who is very motherly, his inner child will come out. And I 100% agree with this. Even my boys, when they're with their girls, you can kind of see them in their childish, playful side, which really shows how nurturing that girl is. If a man isn't like this around his wife, honestly, I'm gonna say she's doing a pretty bad job. What makes your wife material? What? That's his girl, bro. Chill on that shit. I'm just asking her what makes her wife material. I don't give a I don't want to be recorded, so can you turn it off? Oh, my bad, bro. Can you turn it off? Here we go. He's deaf. Do not put them in that YouTube video or I know lawyers. Do not put them in that. Keep that shit rolling. No. I'm not doing it. It's content right here. It's content. It's, it's, it's purple. I'm not YouTube. You're not putting them. Okay, okay. You gotta, you gotta talk. Now, I'm not sure why these TikTok kids still record these kind of videos and decide to post them. Because at the end of the day, they're the ones looking like idiots. You can clearly tell that nobody is effing around with you and you're not funny. And one of these days, they're just gonna get beaten up. Well, um, you know what I found out today? What? Our marriage license expired. Wait, we not married no more? It's expired. We gotta renew it. Why are you happy? What are you laughing about? Why are you smiling? Oh, oh, Nay, I was smiling. And Nay. now you're stuttering. Nay, I was not smiling. You're still smiling. I'm just looking at you because you're beautiful. And I smile because you're so beautiful. But look, that was a, an emotion of concern. But you're smiling. I said, wait, we're not married? You did not say it like that. Yes, I did. I said, no, because it sounded like you was excited to not be married no more. Come on. And you're still you smiling. How's that read? Look, look at your face. Nay, I said, you should not be smiling. You should be in disbelief. I was. I was you should like, be crying. You didn't see me? I'm like this. You was turned that way. I was like, 
Oh my God. Yeah, I'm gonna have to side with her on this one. He was definitely smiling at the end of it. Maybe this man was planning a quick trip to Miami in his head until he realized he was being recorded. But anyways, guys, that does wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys do want more content just like this, please watch the videos you guys see at the top screen. It is on my channel a lot. See you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.